Hi everyone, Adam here, and you know what, it's time for a quick movie review, and I'm sure you've seen many of these, it's another Avengers Endgame review. Off the bat, I'm just going to say it, spoilers ahead, because I did want to do a non-spoiler review, but people have been putting spoilers in non-spoiler reviews anyway, because people are idiots. Except for my subscribers, you all rule. So of course this continues on from Infinity War, with the heroes trying to come to terms with uh, Thanos' snap and half the planet being decimated and turned to dust. And we also find out the plight of Hawkeye, Clint Barton, who's had probably the most to lose, losing his entire immediate family, his wife and his kids. Devastated by this, he becomes a Roman. Killing drug pushers and gang members. So, time passes, five years to be exact. And Scott Lang comes out of the quantum realm. Of course, because he's been stuck in there for five years, he has no idea what's going on. And seeing all the missing poster signs around. So he decides to go to the Avengers compound and tells them how the quantum realm works, where to them, five years is five years, but in the quantum realm, it's only been five hours for Scott. So basically, the remaining Avengers find a way to time travel, which gives them access to able to get the Infinity Stones before Thanos. That's pretty much the premise of the film. I mean, there is more into it. It also deals with uh, the remaining heroes still feeling guilt over losing their comrades. And of course, it probably affects Thor the most. If you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I mean. But everyone's been affected in one way or another. With the time travelling concept, it does give the movie an excuse to revisit some of the uh, memorable Avengers and other movies' events. So, probably would help if you do have some knowledge of the MCU. I mean, if you're watching this, you probably do know the MCU, so yeah. I mean, here's the thing though, it's not as action-packed as Infinity War, but in a way I kind of understand that because it's more about the heroes dealing with guilt, but there is some action in this, and it is quite impressive, especially the climactic battle towards the end. But of course, with the heroes trying to get the Infinity Stones back, there's going to be some consequences. And I'm just going to say, not everybody makes it. And there was a couple of emotional moments, to be honest, in this movie. So overall, I did enjoy this. I mean, I think you have to look at Infinity War and Endgame as one movie. One really long movie. It is definitely a worthy addition to the MCU, and there is kind of a completeness about some of the story arcs that has been going on pretty much since the beginning of the MCU. The Russo brothers who directed this have stated that one of their inspirations for this story was All Good Things from Star Trek The Next Generation, which also dealt with time travel and parallels and that type of thing. And you can, if you've seen that episode, you can kind of see the similarities between it. But overall, I still found it very entertaining. I know it's been getting a mixed response from some people. Some people don't like the whole concept of time travel, but... Eh, look, I'll buy into it. Look at what we've got. We've got a God of Thunder, a Hulk, Ant-Man. So... No point complaining about time travel. But to sum it up, there is some funny moments, especially from Paul Rudd, who's basically a fish out of water, having to deal with how things have changed. Uh, yeah, and there's still some very good action, especially I've said in the um, final climactic fight where I don't think I'm spoiling anything, this is a spoiler review anyway. When basically most of the characters come back. But this still has some entertainment value. I mean, it, it is three hours long, so space out your drink. <laughs> what am I going to score it? I'll give it, I'll give it an eight because I did really like this one, but not not as much as Infinity War as I previously said. But look, if you're a fan of the MCU, I, I think you should enjoy it. Um, and if you're watching this, you've probably already seen it. So let us know in the comments below what you think. As usual, this is just my opinion. Feel free to disagree. I'm Adam, and I'll see you again soon.